welcome back in this video we will discuss vector and matrix transpose so if, if you have seen my previous video which is convert reality into number so that's a part of math prerequisite in deep learning so in this section we will actually learn how we can transpose vector and matrix in python and the pytorch so this video is actually a second part of a math prerequisite i mean second video but originally it's the part four of the deep learning series in this particular video we will see how we can interpret and use the transpose operation and implement in python and the pytorch in python we use a numpy array to implement a vector and a matrix transpose but in pytorch we will use tensors so in the next slide I will explain how we can transpose a vector so first of all what is transpose a transpose is a process where we can convert um, column into rows and rows into column so if you have studied a uh, matrix and determinant in your year 11 or 12 you must come across term transpose because it is one of the most famous topic so in that particular time you may think you have just changing column into row and row into column that doesn't make any sense but in deep learning it sends a lot because it's actually changed the dimensions of the data to be honest and it's one of the most important concept in deep learning so let's start with the how we can transpose a vector so this is a column vector I want to transpose it so in layman term how we can transpose a vector what we're gonna do is we just uh, convert this with this column into row so this this column into row like that so this is what we get after transpose the vector so what we need to do if we want to obtain the original shape like this so again we have to transpose this uh, this vector again like that so if you see here it's actually uh, retain the original shape so how we can transpose a matrix then so in the next slide we will see so transpose a matrix is very straightforward is same as a vector so there's only one rule first column is always occupy the first row in the matrix like I will show by example here so if we transpose this one you see the first column is always on the top and second like underneath the first something like that so it's actually continuing this pattern so if we want to get the original shape we have to transpose this uh, already transposed matrix so what we can do is just transpose it and it actually get the original shape so let's see in action how we can implement uh, this concept in Python and the PyTorch. So let's see how we can implement a transpose, a vector, and matrix in Python first. So let's start by importing Python library called numpy. So import numpy as np. So now we actually create a vector. Vector is equal to np dot array, and we can create vector one, two, three, four and we want to transpose this vector so first of all let's see how, how this vector looks so if we type vector here you will see this is um, a row vector and i want to convert this into column vector how we can do it so i'm going to print here vector dot t so this actually transpose for us so if you run this program you will see that row vector is converted into column vector now all right so how we can do with the um, matrix so we can say matrix is equal to np dot array say um one oh, sorry one two three four and here i'll type um, five six seven and eight let's see so if we run this program again we will see here matrix we type matrix so this is actually a matrix of uh, two by four this is actually row matrix kind of so we can print into a column matrix we can transport this one and it actually convert this row into the column so you can say matrix dot t so if we print this out you will see this matrix this one two three four five six seven eight it convert into the column so see if you see the first one it actually come in place the first column and the second row on the second column so this is how we can do in a python numpy array so let's see how we can implement uh, transposing in um, pytorch so we have to import torch this is a python library 
So everything is same, every operation is same. The only difference between a torch and NumPy is the way it actually stored data in the computer memory. So and, and the function they use the different than a Python NumPy array. So we will see here, so we can say uh, vector one, let's say. So vector one is equal to torch dot tensor and we have to pass the list here like one two three four let's say and if we run this one and it's nothing here because we didn't print it so what we're gonna do we just transpose this vector one so we'll print vector one dot t so if we run now you will see this row is actually convert into the column here all right so this is how we can do in a Python PyTorch. So now you can use the same technique and you can transpose a matrix instead of vector. You can you can do it here. So that's that's you can I think you can do by your own. Just copying this one here, this one, and so replace np dot array with torch dot tensor. And you can write it any name you want it just print it and uh, whatever name you given here any variable name uh, just using dot T so this is a kind of attribute which which actually transpose a metric for us so that's all in this video I will see you in the next video in the next video we will see how we can implement a dot product and a matrix multiplication into um, or Python PyTorch and the Python itself i mean numpy array <laughs> so that's all thank you bye